definitely multifaceted. I love that I have completed the National Board, simply because going through that, I had to totally look at the way I taught and change many things. So I look at teaching differently. If there's not a reason to answer why, but not just a reason, but a scientific, an answer that's already been proven. If there's a proven reason why I should be doing something, then do it. I'm not gonna do a color sheet just because, you know, we have five seconds, you know, or five minutes. I, I don't spend my time with fluff. It's very much instructional time. But at the same time, I love teaching. I love to see the difference in the kids. They come in in August, they're fifth graders, but they're babies. In May, you know, they're bigger than me, they're taller than me, and you know, they're ready for middle school. So I get to see their change. I would consider my greatest accomplishment in the classroom the, the ability that I try and, um, and teach my students of accountability, because of course the goal is teaching them you know, the, the content, but ultimately they need to be successful students and people for citizens as they get older, you know, in life. Uh, the instance outside of the classroom, I would have to say, would be when I was a coach. Uh, I coached here at Central for eight years, and one year stands out the most, and it was a group of girls that I had. Uh, they were a seventh grade basketball team, and we had a perfect season. Uh, we didn't win a single game, but when I say that that was one of the best experiences or greatest accomplishments is those girls learned perseverance that year. Um, they learned a lot, but boy, I learned a lot from them too. Kindergarten, it, it takes a long time sometimes to make small successes. So when they come back and they say, hey, I remember that gingerbread story that we read, and I remember going on the gingerbread hunt, um, that they always say that you, they may not know what you know, but they know what you feel. And my greatest accomplishment truly is that they know that I love them. They know that, that, that they felt love and happiness in this classroom. I love what I do. And I put in extra time. I'm here. <laughs> Um, a lot of nights, 6.30, 7 o'clock. There are nights I close up the building because the janitors are already gone. <laughs> I, I do the extra because what's available, what's available in the resources by the teacher's guides and that comes with the textbooks, it's not enough. So I'm going to go and sometimes I'm building my own things. Um, you know, worksheets, but sometimes I'm building games, sometimes I'm building PowerPoints. I'm, they, they need the other things. You can't, I've taught 15 years. You simply can't teach the way you used to. It would be my, my passion and my drive. I absolutely love American history, and unfortunately I know a lot of people do not. <laughs> so it is my goal, and, and I strive to make sure how can I make it interesting and, and come to life and just be passion, and express that passion to my kids. And I would have to say that the activities that I try and plan, it can't be just book work. You know, textbooks and, and worksheets are not going to accomplish that. It's got to be like you're right there in the moment. Uh, I, I try to dress in period characters. For example, um, one of the most recent that I've done is I dressed as Sacagawea when we were learning about Lewis and Clark. I'm passionate. I love what I do. And I've been asked, you know, think of a word that describes you. And I try to say passionate because I think it encompasses so many other words. Dedication, commitment. Um, I just, I love my job. I truly love working with the children and giving back to them. And then when they come back again, like I said, they, they'll come back and give me lots. So I enjoy that. It doesn't really matter what they do in their future as long as they're happy, they're healthy, and they're confident about what they're doing. Is it going to make a difference if they remember teeny tiny, you know, tedious facts in a science book? Probably not. But I hope that they remembered, you know, that I cared about them. I want them to remember 
me as a teacher that challenged them to do their best and go beyond the potential that they show me initially, but I also want them to remember me as a fair teacher. I was someone that I believe in them, that every kid can learn, and everyone does it in their own way. That's why I think it's important to do a variety of ways of presenting information and lessons, but I want them to remember that I tried to teach them to be better people. That I love them, and that I love being here with them. So again, I, I am very blessed I, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer two years ago. I had um, former students that were seniors that came the day before I started my chemotherapy and they came to give me hugs and um, I always say you reap what you sow. What comes around goes around and um, I feel that the love I gave to them came back and they were ready to, and willing to help me. So I had lots of cards and letters and pictures and prayers during that time and I'm a survivor and I'm here today and I think these kids and the kids that I had before is what got me here. Take a look through my head.